So in this video, I'm going to talk about how a real estate agent could take ACN and implement it into their business, the actual inner workings of what we actually use to increase our customer satisfaction, also to uh, generate more repeat and referral business, and over the long term, help build ourselves a residual-based retirement for us to retire gracefully as a real estate agent. Hi, my name is Jim Lambright. Uh, I have been in ACN since 2012. Ben, my wife, and I have been selling real estate. We're actually with uh, EXP Realty right now, and um, we love EXP Realty. But uh, we've been selling homes in the Central Ohio Marketplace since 1997. And one thing we learned in 2008 when the market crashed was that not having multiple streams of revenue was a very bad idea for when the real estate market crashed. 08 was a very painful lesson for us and many other agents. If you're an old timer out there, you're holding your head, I'm sure, about that. So a friend of mine showed me how real estate agents, back in 2012, how real estate agents have implemented ACN into their business, again, to uh, increase client sas satisfaction, generate more repeat referral business, and to build themselves a retirement. But I want to, I get asked this all the time, and I want to show you exactly how we do it and how we build it into our business. And uh, it doesn't damage our business, it actually enhances our business, and it's going to enhance your client's customer satisfaction. So, first of all, I want to mention there is a video, it's got about 11,000 views. I'll put the link down below. If you haven't watched it first, I'm assuming you saw it first, and that's how you got here. If you haven't seen that one, after watching this, you're going to want to go back and watch that video because it will uh, tell you how AC and real estate work together. But for sake of time, I don't want to get into that right now. I want to talk about how we build it into build it into your real estate business. So I'm assuming you're a real estate agent. When you represent a buyer or you have a seller that's transferring to another property, right? You sell their house, they're going to be buying another one. Um, you want to make the transition smooth. You want it to be the highest level of customer satisfaction. There's more and more agents are out there. Uh, you want to differentiate yourself in the marketplace. And I want to talk to you about that, how you do it now. So it works like this. When I first meet my buyers and uh, sellers, I work with them. And I never bring up ACN um, until we are in contract. We get into contract. Let's just talk about buyers right now. We get into contract. After that comes what? The inspection period, contingency period, and also the financing contingency period. So I get them through that. And then once they're through that, there's usually this gap. A week, 10 days, two weeks until we go to closing, right? Well, during that time, a lot of times agents, we know things are happening the way they're supposed to be. We're on to bigger and better things. Well, what do our buyers think? They think, where the hell are they? I haven't heard from them. What's going on, right? There's not as many touches because we know there's not that much going on that we can do. Everything's being handled. Everything's going smoothly. Well, what if you could provide more touches to your client to increase your customer satisfaction level with them and also be making a little extra money on the side. So first thing that goes, I just want to cover this right now. I'm not an attorney. I don't pay one on TV. So I am not providing you with legal advice. Definitely check out to make sure that your state allows you to do this. When I first saw this, I'm like, oh my God, is that a RESPA violation? No, it is not in the state of Ohio. But again, go check it out for yourself with your division of real estate and with your broker to make sure they're cool with it. Tens of thousands of agents use it all around the world. You can too, but again, check it out for yourself. Okay, enough of the disclaimer. Let's get on with this. So after the inspection period is done and we're all locked up and we're getting ready to move to closing, I approach them with this. I say, hey, by the way, guys, wanted to give you a call, let you know everything is going along great. But here in about two weeks, we're going to be going to closing and we're going to need to get all your services transferred over from where you're at now and also signed up on the house. As you know, I'm all things real estate all the time. What do I mean by that? I know everything there is to know about real estate, not just buying and selling the home. And one of the things I've done is I've educated myself on the transfer of your services, getting them moved over. I know the best uh, telecommunications companies. I know the best satellite deals. I know the internet in the area where you're going to be. I know the best electricity and gas. I know all of that stuff. And uh, because I do it all the time and you only do it once every five, eight, 10 years, would you like my help? I'd be happy to help you. And oh, by the way, don't worry, I'm not charging you anything for this. This is just part of my VIP buyer package. They always laugh at that, right? Because the money, the commission, right? I'm not charging you anything for this. I'm going to help you do it. Would you like my help and assistance in doing this? And you wait. Some are going to say yes. Some are going to say I got it. 
The ones that say I got it, I say, cool. Go ahead and get your stuff set up. Don't forget to get it all done. So when we go to closing, it's all set and goes to be transferred over. I'd hate for your electric to get shut off or something like that with the seller moving out and you moving in, get your lines crossed. Okay. Now, the people that want your help, what you're going to do is you're going to say, great, I've got a website that makes it super easy and I'm going to send it over to you. Do you want it by email or text? And then we'll set up a time to get together on this and get it set up. Some of you who have assistants will get your assistants to do this. Oh, a little secret there on that, right? My dog's ears perked up when I made that noise. But, um, okay, so they're going to see it on there and you're going to walk them through the services getting their stuff transferred over, seeing right now where the electric rates are and the gas rates are. And you'll know this stuff because you're doing multiple transactions every month and you're going to know what's going on. You're going to know the fact that home security and automation, according to NAR, is one of the number one things that people are looking for in their new homes. And you'll understand Vivint, who ACN's partnered with on this, is got to be the best deal, the highest technology, the most secure system out there going on. It's not just security, it's also uh, automation for their home. You can demo it for them, put them on the phone with somebody at Vivint in Utah, and they'll handle the whole transaction for them, get it set up and scheduled and good to go, because we know this, right? People that move are set up for thieves. You're also gonna know how to protect their identity, because people that buy a home, we know are at huge risk. They've had their credit pulled. Everybody's had a hold of their financial information. They're doing a change of address. And what's happening? They're getting hit by cyber thieves who are coming in and stealing their identities because they're out there making waves, right? On the dark web. If you don't know about that, it's a different video at a different time. So we get to know all this stuff because we're realtors. And once again, we are all things real estate all the time. The more we help our clients, are they going to be happier? Or are they going to be sad? Answer that question for you. The duh answer is they're going to be happier. And we're going to help them process that over. Now, as you know, ACN pays us a bonus on services coming in. And we also make a back-end residual on it. Uh, currently, at the time you're watching this, it's up to 20% of the billable revenue every month for the life of the customer. How long are your clients going to pay these bills for? Can I hear it? Yes, forever, right? They're going to pay these things forever. And so you can build yourself, dog, don't go barking in the middle of my video. You can build a residual for yourself, a back end built into your front end linear based, transactional based real estate business. You can build a back end based on energy, telecommunications, and other essential services that they need for their home. It establishes you as the go to person for everything. They're going to feel better about that. You'll get more referrals. You'll get more repeat business. Okay? That's how it works. And on top of that, also mention this to them. Project Feeding Kids. See, Project Feeding Kids is for realtors to, or, or anybody out there, but we're talking realtors here today, for realtors to differentiate yourself in the marketplace. Right? In Columbus, Ohio, there's 10,000 realtors. Think about that. There's four realtors for every house right now for sale. To differentiate ourselves at the time this video is made, um, to differentiate yourself, you want to be different. And one of the great things is called social entrepreneurism. And that is being the agent that gives back to the local community. Well, here's the problem with giving back. Shortage of time, shortage of money. Project Feeding Kids fixes both of those by this. When someone becomes a customer of yours that you helped them do, transitioning to their new home, they're going to get to participate in feeding hungry local kids with you. How cool is that? In the locale where you live. So they know you're helping them, but also feeding kids. So now you're not just the money grubbing commission breath realtor. You're also giving back to the community, which is great. We feed thousands and thousands of kids here every single month in central Ohio through our program. And we fed millions across North America and we're not going to stop until every child is fed. And we're excited about that. So once again, here's what it does for us. So you get that done and then you go to the closing table. They've got their services set up. You helped either get them hooked up with DirecTV or Dish Network or whoever it is is going to do the providing. And as the realtor, you're not doing the billing. You're not doing the tech support. You're not doing the install. You ain't getting up on the roof and installing a satellite dish. You're doing none of that. You're just the connector or for real estate agents, we love the word referral agent. You're referring them to the providers 
and the providers are going to pay ACN, and ACN is going to pay you for being the person that connects them with the providers that they need, and you have the specialized knowledge to know what's better. Is DirecTV or Dish Network better? Which one's better? You'll know the deals that are going on, and you can help guide them through a process that they only do probably once every 10 years, but because you do multiple transactions a month, you know it. And that's the great thing. So that's how it works. And uh, it fits into your business seamlessly. So if you're watching this and you're a realtor, get back with the person that showed you this video. Let them know you're ready to get going. Um, at the time this video was made, the cost was 199 bucks to get your independent business owner license and $25 a month for support fees. So the cost of barrier of entry is nothing. And you can get in and start making some front-end bonus money on this and then the back-end residual to your business. And you do it long enough, you can create a significant residual income that will come in every single month that's the back-end to your linear-type business. I wish you all luck. If you have any other questions, get back with the person and put you on here. They can get you in touch with me. We can talk a little bit on the phone if you need to, if you got more questions on that. I'm always happy to help out. Want to give back to my real estate community. I love realtors. I know how tough it can be out there. I also know how tough it is when the market crashes. I can tell you what, in 08, if I'd have had significant income coming in like we have now coming in, our family would not have suffered as bad when the real estate market crashed. I saw a ton of realtors that had to get out of the business back then. We barely escaped by the skin of our teeth. And uh, if that is such a thing, we lived off our retirement back then, but we're so happy for this residual-based income we've made now. So hopefully that's a help to you. You guys have a great one, and uh, I will see you soon.